you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. That's if he's pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up coverage. Back to the prospect that we mentioned before the break. There was some surprise, even criticism of the front office over how early he went off the board. Jonathan Mayo, what do you think of this pick? Yeah, I don't think any of us saw this one coming. This uh, definitely feels like a, a reach to me. And, uh, I had a more of a day three kind of guy. Uh, split camp, so a lot of scouts disagreed whether he's better as a pitcher or better as a hitter. I'm guessing the, the team felt that he's got potential on both sides of the ball, and, and maybe that adds some value to him, but uh, this made me scratch my head a little bit. Sure. All right, Jonathan Mayo, thanks. Uh, what about you, Jim Callis? Was this a head scratcher, or the reach of the draft, as some of the other analysts have suggested? Yeah, you know, I, I, I talked to somebody, and they look, they're, they're excited to get this guy. This is the guy they really want. And two points, the club made to me, for one, you know, this whole debate is the hitter, is he a pitcher, you know, what are you going to do with him? Because there was a lot of confusion. This team isn't confused. This, this team feels like he's got very good potential as a hitter and as a pitcher. They may even try to play in both ways. And they also, they felt like there were a couple other teams that were starting to stick around this guy. And, you know, this isn't the NFL or NBA draft where you can trade down to get a guy you want. If you want a guy, you have to take him. And trades. And they felt like they didn't take him where they did. Somebody else was going to get them, and they just absolutely did not want him. All ready to go with the top of the fifth, and next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Cullen Lard. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar. So far, they've certainly kept both offenses in check. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on pace with some sort of a hit, but... 
next to stand in is Daniel Haston. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now. Here's a fly ball well hit. Right fielder looking up, still ranging back. And they take the lead. It's gone. Awesome swing right there. You never know when that huge moment's going to come in the game. I know there's a little bit left in this one, but certainly they got to feel good about this. Anytime you can put some points on the board. We're not sure if this is going to be the difference in the game or not. But certainly when you get a big swing like that, make the fellas in the dugout feel a lot happier about the way this one's going to turn out at the end. Castillo is there. Two down. Now with the plate is Daniel Out Castillo. Right He's 0 for 1 thus far. Castillo. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. And boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. This is hit high and deep go, out to go, left. Go. Looking up is the left fielder, still going back. Oh, my! It's going on to Santa Maria! A solo shot here to left. Second home run early in the year. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 now. Remember the previous pitch? He couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. <laughs> now even though we're late into this ball game this guy feel is still top-notch this guy's a horse and he's got another one 13 strikeouts now and the inning is over <laughs> well that wasn't exactly a nail biter but it's always nice when you can get an offensive <laughs>